NFT scams are everywhere. After my video last week about some of the problems with NFTs, I dove deep into some of the biggest uh, rug pulls, uh, scams where people thought they were gonna get some awesome NFTs and were part of a community, and then basically everything vanished, including their investment. So today I'm gonna share with you exactly what to be aware of with some of the NFT scams that are going on right now. And if you're considering investing, what you should really be on the lookout for each step of the way. So stick around, you're not gonna wanna miss this. So you heard right, I think one of the biggest problems with NFTs right now are there's scams everywhere and most people don't understand even what they're buying or investing in so listen if you like videos like this you please consider joining our millionaire movement discord community and please drop a like for this video these are new topics for me that i am digging deep on so i really appreciate the encouragement all right when i say nft scams i'm talking about rug pulls specifically right now and this is a very specific type of scam where people create an nft project and they just hype it up maybe it's on a website twitter or within a Discord community, usually all three. And as the hype builds, uh, select people, people who are willing to be whitelisted or put up some money up front, they're gonna have first access to this project. And you think the project's gonna sell out, so you wanna, you wanna be sitting there ready to just like click right away. Now, after you make your purchase, sometimes you get the NFT and you think everything's fine. Sometimes you don't even get that, the transaction like, says it doesn't go through, but your, your money's gone. And then usually the, the creators of this project, they take all the money that's invested and, and they vanish. Or they even worse, take all the money that's invested and they, they swap out the picture of your NFT for something like a picture of a rug. So that's a rug pull. And these aren't just happening like once a week or twice a month. These are happening every couple weeks. I'm gonna go over some of the biggest right now. Take a look at this website, bigdaddyapeclub.com. As you can see, there's nothing there. Go to their Twitter profile. This account does not exist. But if we research a little bit further, we can see what some of these essentially rip off or plagiarized versions of Board Ape Club are gonna look like. They're, they're, they're variations. If you like this style, maybe you're gonna get excited about it. Uh, this was on the Solana chain. So why are we talking about the Big Daddy Ape Club? Well, this was a classic rug pull. I say classic even though this is like something that has just been going on maybe the past year or exploding or so the past year or two. But when you have people like Paris Hilton going on Jimmy Fallon's show and there's this buzz and hype and excitement about the bored apes, the Big Daddy Apes kind of jump on that bandwagon, get people excited and try to get everyone to invest. Well, what ended up happening was the people that bought into this project, over like 9,000, each invested over $100, and the creator made off with over a million dollars. Now, if you're asking yourself, how can these people get ripped off? There is actually a company that has verified some of these projects. Think of how if you've ever signed up to like buy or sell cryptocurrency or maybe you got that pre-TSA, you gotta take a picture of your ID, it has to match up with your address, maybe you gotta even send in, I don't know if you've ever done this before, you gotta send in like a picture of your face. Well, it turns out that this scammer, this is not their first scam of this kind. You can use the blockchain to track the different wallets and there is some crossover with other scams. Check out this cool diagram. You can see that there was the Werewolf Pack, the Baller Ape Club, and the Big Daddy Ape Club. E each of these projects had hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars stolen from them with one of these rug pull scams. So if you're kind of visualizing now like how this looks, I found this video of somebody live getting rug pulled, okay? And as you can see, they are waiting for, for the drop of these NFTs, that, that first minting. And they get to the screen where they need to connect their wallet and they connect and they're gonna buy just one and they click buy, they approve the sale and a transaction fails. The wallet got disconnected. So maybe they try again a couple times and that's the scam. The wallet did not get disconnected. The, the money's gone from the wallet. The more you keep trying, 
the more money that leaves the wallet. And of course, as you see on the screen, this is a trick to get you to keep hitting mint. Your money's gone, your wallet's empty, and in this case, you don't even get the, uh, the NFT. But check out this next headline. Of those 10,000 people or so that, that participated in this, in this drop and got scammed, they had some, some verification that this company, this project, this Big Daddy Apes was actually verified. As you can see here, uh, Civic or Civic Key on Twitter welcomed Big Daddy Ape and verified them. It, they, they said that they have been verified and they, they gave them that like stamp of approval. Now, as I mentioned earlier, what that actually means is a verified Civic Pass says that someone in the project verified control of the Twitter handle, of the project domain, um, there was verification of the founders with ID, 3D face scan, facial match comparison, and other types of politically exposed um, adverse media listings where they were screened. There was screening. Now, if I was planning a scam, multiple scams at this point, and I got verified by Civic, Civic would know who is doing the scam or they somehow scammed Civic into giving them this verification. Now, Civic is acknowledging that they know this scam exists, that they messed up. They're trying to take this type of attack on the NFT community seriously. Um, but what assistance can they really offer? I mean, if you, if you follow through this thread here, they're basically telling people to go make a report with the FBI that says they got scammed. I tried to do what little digging I know how to do. I looked up the domain website and you can see that it was registered about less than a month before the scam, before the drop. So again, you need to really be on the lookout for for when these projects are, are getting the hype and if you can dig a little deeper about who's involved, how long they've been around for, I think that that's gonna better serve you than just jumping on the hype train. Now, some of the key takeaways and the reason I wanted to show you this one rug pull was because it's so similar to the one of the most popular styles of NFTs with the board apes right now. And there are people out there that don't really know what they're, what they're investing in. They think they do. They think maybe they're going to own a piece of digital property when really, and I've said it in another video, they're kind of just, for the most part, owning the receipt to that digital property. They also think that, you know, by, 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 being a little bit smarter than everybody else, they might they might hit it big. Like, ah, I invested six months before you and now somebody else is gonna pay me way more money. Now, you might be right. You might be right, but uh, not if you got rug pulled, right? Not if you got scammed. And I don't wanna see anybody out there get scammed. So so here's a, just a couple of quick tips. Consider everyone and everything a scam before you put any real money in. And I know that's like a skeptical way of looking at the world, but just, just approach it as if it's a scam. There are thriving NFT communities where you put your money in and you cannot get it out right now. In fact, I'm gonna do a video on one of them next week. Likewise, um, if you're jumping on the bandwagon or the hype train for one that is like less than a few weeks old, you really need to look up like, well, who are the founders? Do they use real names or do they just say like Ape 1 and Ape 2? Do they have a website? How long ago was that registered? Uh, do they participate on the Discord? Uh, have they shut off certain channels saying like, oh, we got all these bots, yeah, but yeah, don't worry guys, you still give us your money for the drop. These are red flags that I think you really gotta be skeptical of. But let me know what you think down in the comments. I'd love to spread awareness on some more of these scams. Also, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, as always, I'm Rich, and until next time.